G'day guys, we're on a four month adventure camping and exploring some of the most remote and wildest parts of Australia while living from the land and sea. Go fishing! Oh, something's just here. Giant shipwreck wrecked right on top of the shallow reef here. Oh wow, he's huge! Hey, good morning guys and welcome back from a beautiful little tropical island. We've had this whole place to ourselves overnight. Beautiful little camp here, clear water, white sandy beach. Rise and shine, Fran. What's the plan this morning? Um, first thing first, we need to catch something. So let's go. Let's go. Oh, in. We might have to swim. Go fishing. The drop off is so close on this fishy. Oh. This looks like a prime fishing yeah. spot, eh? Oh, something's just here. Yeah. Yeah. I've spotted two palm trees on the island in the jungle, so I'm gonna have a look if there's any coconuts in them. Fingers crossed there's not bindies either. Here they are, the one over there. But unfortunately, there's no coconuts in them. Hmm, bummer. Oh, moment of truth. Is that perfect? Oh, he's got one hole. That's pretty bloody good, eh? Near perfect Nautilus shell. It's coming with us, I reckon. Yeah, plus this too. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a couple of very well-fed goannas on this beach that are, are pretty in tune at getting into the turtle's nest to eat the eggs. There's tracks all up and down the beach here. You reckon you got the, got it the shot? It was a big one. When I got here, I was sunbaking on the rock. Oh yeah. And it was almost the side of the rock. <laughs> and that's where you had the camera set up, eh? Yeah. There was a big hole there. Right, I wonder if you got him. Oh, there you go. You got it? Yeah. Finally, the trail cams worked for us, Fran. It's a huge guana. Yeah? Was he going for the eggs? Yeah. Oh, it's digging. Wow, right, it's right up in there. <laughs> What's he got his head in there? Yeah, they're all bodies. It's the tail is up. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, the sand just fell on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> like avalanched him? Yeah, buried it alive. <laughs> Wow, sounds like you got the shot. Yeah, I got the shot finally. The trail cam has paid off. Finally worked. <laughs> Look at this shuttle nose, it's so tiny. I've never seen anything that small. So cute. There's like five little shovel nose here in the shallow. Just some begging. There is no fish here, so let's pack up our swag and let's go. I'm sure there is, but we couldn't catch them. Let's go explore another island. Just like that? That's it, we're off. All right, let's do it. All right, on our way out of this bay here, friends, just gonna jump in for a quick swim and see if there's anything getting around down there. Go get them, superstar. Nice. Fran reckons it's pretty good. She's going to be on the lookout for things like crayfish here up on top. And then off the reef edge there, there's all the beautiful reef species like coral trout, mangrove jack, all those type of things. So let's see how she goes. How'd you go? Didn't see any desirable fish. No. Nah. No. Nah. Nice coral. Nice corals. Lots of bait, but very murky. Okay. Yeah. Time to move on. Let's go. 
We're just cruising along in between the reefs here and we spotted what I initially thought was an island. But it's a giant shipwreck wrecked right on top of the shallow reef here. Pretty crazy, eh? And from the drone, you can actually see, unfortunately, the path it's taken where it's just bulldozed all the coral out from the breakers and the waves have just washed it in on top of the reef there. Hopefully we don't end up next to him. Shame it's so rough at the moment, we can't go in there and explore, but uh, pretty cool to see. Time to continue on. So we've just pulled in at uh, the next island we're hoping to camp at. There's a group of maybe three or four around here. This looks pretty good from first impressions. There's a, a protected bay. It's quite deceiving. There's a lot of wind on the other side. Fran's just checking it out from the bird's eye view from the drone. Looks like nice clear water here. You might be able to put a swag up there to camp on the beach and anchor the boat off here. We'll just keep putting around and see what else this island's got to offer. How does it look from up there? looks pretty nice. Yeah? It is a bit stinky here though. Yeah, there is a pretty foul smell. We're unsure if that is because there's all this kind of rotting seaweed. Oh, that's really bad, eh? Whether there might be a dead turtle up on the beach. I've seen some turtle tracks where the turtles are laying, so maybe one has uh, come unstuck up there. Hang on. It's gonna be a crash landing, friend. It really stinks, doesn't it? Go check it out. Catch us some dinner, Fran. Did you see something out the back? Oh, what's that? Do you see it? The I thing? saw it before, eh? Hey? It looks like a whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I've got to fly the drone. Yeah. Something out there, it looks like a whale, but it's not oh. meant to. Man, they look like orcas, but they are not meant to be up here. I've got to get the drone in the air. There's big dolphins in there. Quick, 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 quick. Right here. No luck with the mysterious whales, but I reckon they might have been pilot whales. They're too big for a dolphin, but too small for a whale. Hopefully they come back. Delirious cuttlefish. So tiny. So many of these things around. Another one. This is what stunks. So bad. All this dead algae. Some big cockroaches, but. Oh, yuck. This is the front end of a dugout canoe that's come down from Papua New Guinea. Pretty cool. Very cool. I hold that... the painting on it. So. Yeah, would have had a cool paint job. Recognize these from my childhood. I used to have one just like this. Caught lots of fish from it, actually. Dun, 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 dun. So much seaweed. Just seen our first sign of hopefully Ooh. something to eat. There's a school of fish here. I don't know what they are, but probably mullet. Hopefully they're yeah. <laughs> they're not showing too much interest in this. Ah, no, no luck. We've almost completed the entire entire lap of the island with no fish. I just found two of the coolest pipe fish right in the shallow. Look at that. They look like Ooh. sticks. As soon as I put the camera underwater, they change color from brown to silver slash sand color. And that's because they were mimicking this branch first and then once I spook them they want to camouflage with the sand. Nature is just so amazing. This side is 
so bad. It's gonna take me forever. Someone's gotta do it. Perks of living at sea for two months plus. All right, Jack's turn to dive on this island. So we're gonna get the anchor up and I'm gonna follow him around cause there are crocs, unfortunately, on these islands as well. What are you hoping for? We're pretty desperate for any seafood at the moment. So just see what I can get my hands on down there. Let's do it. Go get him, sexy bomb. <laughs> Far out, there's a bit of current. We're drifting quickly. He must have seen something because he keeps diving on the same spot. Beautiful big mackerel that really wants to get shot. Jack just spotted a mackerel, but I gave him pretty good instructions not to get a mackerel. <laughs> we need a new species. Oh wow, he's huge! That's one of the biggest coral trout I've ever seen. It must be big. Is a new species. Woohoo! Oh yeah! A new species for us. I love that species. That's a barramundi cod. It's so delicious. Well done. Now this is going to be a real treat for us. The barramundi cod, one of the best eating fish in the ocean. We can't eat these guys in Queensland, but now we're out of the Queensland waters. It opens up a new species. Cannot wait to eat it, eh, friend? Oh, they are delicious. What's going on, friend? So, I got a really good cook up in mind, which means we need to start the fire earlier. So, let's do that. There was a fight in the YouTube comments section last time, wasn't there? This pumpkin is so juicy that you don't need any water for this recipe. Just flour, olive oil, salt, pepper, yeast, and five cooked pumpkins. So good. Let it rise for an hour or so. How did it go? Yeah, we've been a bit impatient, but it's definitely bigger than what it was before. There's a bit of a common misconception or a rumour that gets around that these guys mate and pair for life, but uh, it's pretty 
cute to think that, but it's just not true. These guys are actually hermaphrodites, which means these ones are born as females. And then as they get bigger and bigger, the most dominant one will turn into a male. And then that guy's a bit of a womanizer. Come mating time, come spawning time, he will have a number of smaller girlfriends. So yeah, they're not the kind of cute love couple which a lot of people think they are. So to fully appreciate the beautiful taste of the barracob, we're just gonna cook it super simple. I'm gonna take the guts out. We're gonna wrap it in alfoil because the skin is so soft. And then just put it straight on the coals. A lot of people think these guys are the best eating fish in the ocean. So I'm keen to hear how it rates. Let's see how it went. It's always touch and go with this one. <laughs> it smells good. Ooh, look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, I, think, um, I think we nailed it. Well done. Nailed it. Yum. Mm. Good? So nice. Mm. Yum. Well done. Alrighty, hopefully that is done. Let's take him up to the table. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have a barramundi cod sandwich on top of pumpkin damper. What an absolute treat. That's so much and a bit butter, of butter, Jeff. <laughs> so these barramundi cod were almost too tasty for their own good. Uh, down on the Queensland coast, they got pretty heavily fished and became protected, but thankfully up here, that's not the case. And we actually see quite a few of them while we're out diving. Super, super happy we we're, uh, were able to take one today. Right, the moment of truth. Hmm. That's pretty good fam. For taste, for me, I'm gonna give this guy five stars. Mm. Difficulty, I'd have to say they're probably difficulty one out of five. Once you, once you find one there, they're not too hard to spear, <laughs> which was also one of their uh, demises on the east coast because a lot of people could get them. 